Unit nine. What's in a name? Idioms that mention people by name. March fifteenth. Jane Doe, John Doe. Jane Doe, feminine or John Doe, masculine, are placeholder names given to anonymous, unidentified, or hypothetical people, often in a legal context. The phrase used since the 1300s evolved from a now extinct British legal process in which landlords used fictitious residents called John Doe to demonstrate they were the authentic property owners. Example. The police are asking for the public's assistance in identifying the Jane Doe found murdered last week. Pandora's box. This saying comes from the ancient myth of Pandora, who, according to Greek legend, was the first human woman. She received a box as a wedding gift from the god Zeus, but was cautioned never to open it. Curiosity overcame her, and she opened it, releasing misery, death, and evil into the world. A Pandora's box, therefore, describes something that's best left alone because it could cause untold problems if examined closely. Example: Don't ask Ted about his work situation. You'll open a Pandora's box of pessimism. Heavens to Betsy! Exclaiming "Heavens to Betsy" means you're experiencing surprise, anger, or disappointment. It's similar to "Oh my goodness!" In the 19th century. English speakers began substituting expressions that contained words like God, Jesus, and Christ with other words to be more respectful. Heavens to Betsy was a variation of "For Christ's sake." The identity of Betsy is not known, but one theory is that it comes from Betsy Ross, the creator of the first American flag. Examples: Heavens to Betsy! I wasn't expecting you back for weeks. Are you still reluctant to insert a name idiom into your next conversation? We hope your answer is now. No way, Jose.